You don't have to be. Don't have to be afraid of the dark? But how? I'm glad you asked. Let's go on a Bible adventure today. We will discover there's no need to be afraid when we grow up God's way. All right, Casey. Oh, oh no, Casey, we're ready to go on a Bible adventure now. You think you are ready, but first I must say, you need to be dressed like an artist today. An art studio is the place your adventure will be. Get ready, let's go. It will be fun, you will see. Great, I love the art studio. I love coloring and painting and drawing too. I'm gonna look inside and get dressed for the art studio today. <gasps> Whoa, there's so much stuff in here. Oh wait. <laughs> Look, it's a flower hat. <gasps> oh, it kind of makes me sneeze. I better put it away. Oh, but here's my art hat. I need this for today. <laughs> hmm, what else will I need? Oh, wait. Hmm, look, it's my art apron. I better put this on. Here I go! Whoa! I look like a real artist! But I need one more thing! <laughs> I need my paintbrush! Isn't it the biggest paintbrush you've ever seen? <laughs> you will see your friends from the art studio today. Flip the switch, turn the wall, and you'll be on your way. I can't wait. Friends, let's flip the switch. All right, on the count of three, we're gonna flip the switch. Count with me. One, two, three. <laughs> Welcome to the art studio. My name is Polly the Paintbrush. I love having fun with everyone who visits my art studio. It's nice seeing you, Polly. We love having fun. What do you do for fun? I paint pictures to brighten people's day. I also love to tell jokes. Making people laugh is my favorite. Really? Do you want to tell us a joke? Yeah. Why do oranges wear suntan lotion? Hmm, why do oranges wear suntan lotion? Hmm. You don't know? We don't know. Tell us why. Because they don't want to peel. Oh, <laughs> Polly, that's so funny. I get it, because you peel oranges. <laughs> Thanks for making us laugh, Polly. But we came to the art studio today to go on a Bible adventure. But we need the Bible. Do you have the Bible? Cosmo the Crayon can help you with that. He always has everything you need for your Bible adventure in the art studio. That's right, I forgot. Cosmo always has what we need for our Bible story. <laughs> I'm Cosmo the Crayon, that is true. But I am wondering, who are you? My name's Delaney, and these are my friends. Polly the Paintbrush said you have what we need for our Bible story today. I do, I do. I have all you need, you'll see. My favorite thing to do is bring color to a Bible story. Great! So do you have the Bible? Look behind me, then you'll see. I have the Bible for the Bible story. Awesome! <laughs> Friends, I love the Bible. 
Bible because everything in the Bible is true. But before we start on our Bible story today, we need to get ready. So let's click on our listening ears. Click, 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 click. And now let's put on our special eyes. Shakum, shakum. Great job. I think we're ready. Cosmo, we're ready for our Bible story today. Read the Bible story, and as you do, I will color the pictures just for you. Oh, great! I bet you're really great at coloring. Our Bible story is about a little girl named Miriam. She had a baby brother, and his name was Moses. Miriam and her mother loved Moses. But there was someone who did not like baby Moses. There was a mean king, and he wanted to hurt Moses. Miriam and her mother didn't want the king to find Moses because they loved him and wanted him safe. They decided to hide Moses so the king could not find him. So Moses' mom took him and put him in a basket. Then she put the basket in the water to float. The water had lots of tall grass around it, and the tall grass hid Moses so the king could not find him. Miriam went to the water and hid behind the tall grass. She watched Moses to make sure he was okay. Miriam saw a princess coming to the water. The princess saw baby Moses in the basket that was floating in the water. She picked up Moses and he started to cry. <coughs> Miriam was watching. She wanted to help her brother, but she didn't even know the princess and she was afraid of her. But she did a brave thing because she knew God was with her. She walked right up to the princess and asked her if she wanted to take care of the baby. The princess was nice to Miriam and told her that she needed help taking care of baby Moses. So Miriam ran home to get her mother and Miriam and her mother helped care for baby Moses. Thanks Cosmo for helping our Bible story come to life. Miriam was so brave because she knew God was with her. You know, we can be brave too because God's with us too. That's Clocky. Hi Clocky. Hello friends. I have good news I'd have to say. You've just discovered the special words today. Oh really? Did you hear that? We just discovered our special words for today. But wait, Clocky, we've said a lot of words. What are our special words? The special words today are, God is with me. Oh, great. Our special words today are, God is with me. Will you say that with me? God is with me. One more time. God is with me. Great job. <laughs> Polly, I love the story of Miriam. You learned something very important today. Artie the Art Box has a game you can play. That sounds like so much fun. Hi, Artie. Polly says you have a fun game for us. I am Artie the Art Box. I have a fun game, it is true. You will learn how God is always with you. Friends, this will be fun. I have painted a picture of times you may be scared, but you can remember that God is right there. Friends, what is this? <coughs> You're right, it's a dog. Some dogs can be big and their bark can be loud, it's true. But remember who is always right there with you. Friends, do you remember who is always right there with you? That's right, God is. Let's say our special words. God is always with me. Great job. <laughs> We're ready for the next one, Artie. Look, Artie painted a picture of a storm. A storm can be loud and scary on your own, but you can remember that you're never alone. Friends, who's always with you, even in a storm? That's right, God is. Let's say our special words. God is always with me. Great job. 
friends, I'm so glad that God is always with us. Let's pray and thank Him right now. Ready? Place your hands out in front of you. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a little clap. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Lay them in your lap. Repeat after me, friends. Dear God, thank you for our Bible story. Thank you for always being with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Polly, we had so much fun at the art studio today. It was totally fun hanging out with you. We've got to go paint the town red, but we sure hope we get to see you soon. I hope to see you soon too. Friends, let's flip the switch. Here we go. Count to three with me. One, two, three. <laughs> It's time for us to have some fun. Stand and sing. God is number one. today. I better take off my art clothes. Here I go. <laughs> that was such a great Bible adventure today. Casey, thank you for an awesome Bible adventure. I'm so glad we learned God is always with us. There's no need to be afraid. In God we can trust. You're right, Casey. <laughs> Wait, I don't have to be afraid because God is always with me. Remember, the next time you're afraid, God is always with you too. I'll see you next time. Bye, friends. <laughs>